Okay, step two, let's move on. We're gonna get you playing the drums. So the very first thing that I want you to do is with your right stick is to play the hi-hat four times in a row. One, two, three, four. Dead straightforward. Um, in music, there's lots of repetition and the modern day word for repeat is to loop. If we loop those four hits, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so on. Okay, so maybe set yourself a little challenge. Let's do four groups of four hi-hats. One, two, three, four. Great, well done. Okay, we've got our hi-hat part sorted. We're gonna add the bass drum. The bass drum is a big stomp with your right foot, and that right foot is gonna hit on hi-hat number one. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make sure that your right hand and your right foot happen at the same time. Try and match them up identical, same time. So your next step is to add the snare drum. We play the snare drum with our left stick underneath our right stick. And that snare drum is going to be hit on the third hi-hat. This is the point where most beginners will struggle a little bit. Um, do not give up. It's repetition. And with repetition, you build confidence. Drumming is about movement and muscle memory. And the more you do it, the easier it gets, like a lot of other things. So here is snare drum on beat number three with the bass drum on beat number one. Here we go. Great. So that's what a lot of drummers will call a basic rock pattern. Um, but you will hear it in so many songs, so many songs. I've been drumming for 15 years and I play it 80% of the time in the music that I play. It's a really important pattern and we've done it. We've done it already. This is a pattern that will get you playing drums with a band, with other musicians. And now you've learnt it and now you can play it, you'll hear it in lots of other songs. So well done. If you're finding it tricky, the very first thing you need to do is slow down, okay? Slow down those counts. You can slow them down to complete an utter snail pace. We could do hit number one, hit number two, hit number three, and hit number four, okay? If that's comfortable, speed up a little bit. If you find that you've picked it up quite quickly, then you can experiment with different speeds. So a nice comfortable speed is something like this. And something a little more challenging, maybe we can speed it up to this. Let's move to step three.